Fancy, what's going on? Just leave me alone. Ho, ho, hey, look, why, all right? Come here. Look, we were having a good time. And then you fell asleep, and I went to get her something to drink, and then bam, just like that, you're back to hating my guts. What's up with that? Noah, you always told me if our relationship were to end, you'd never love anyone the way you love me. You swore if you ever met another girl, she'd just be someone to pass the time with, that she'd never mean what I mean to you. <sighs> Vows are solemn promises, and you vowed you'd never love another girl the way you love me. Just get away from me, Noah. I don't want to talk to you. Not now, not ever. Sweetheart, you must be exhausted. Oh, yes, I am really tired. We took care of all the tsunami victims so far. Some people are really badly hurt. What about you, you poor thing? How are you feeling? Well, not too bad for someone with a hole in his back from an ice pick. I still can't believe Liz did that to you. Your sister's a truly deranged woman. Mm, that's putting it mildly. To ever imagine that I would have sex with her, she could force me, it's just insane. I'm sorry that she just couldn't take no for an answer. Did I thank you for saving my life? Yes, you did. Mom? Whitney! Whitney? Oh, honey. Oh, oh, I'm so worried about you. Are you okay? What, what happened to your head? No, I, I just fell when the earthquake hit, but I'm fine. Look, I came here because I need to tell you something. How's the baby? How's Miles? The baby is fine, too. I came here because I have made a decision. I've made a decision that's going to change my life, and it's going to affect everyone. It's going to affect Chad. It's going to affect Fox, and it's going to affect the baby, too. Oh, honey. You're going to tell Fox. You're going to tell Fox that Chad is really the baby's father. Where are you going? I'm gonna go talk to Kay. No, you're not. I told you, she is bad news. Why do you want to get involved with somebody? It's just gonna cause you trouble. Well, you still haven't told me why you think so. But what I really don't understand is why she flipped out on me all of a sudden. I just don't want you to have any illusions about Fox. It didn't mean anything to him. He said, he said he thinks you're a sweet kid, but that's it. He's not interested in anything else. I told you. I lived here, remember? I know her better than you do. You don't want to get involved. You don't want to be her friend or anything else. Oh, Sam. Okay. I'm so glad you're OK. Did you hear anything about Fancy or, or Noah? Where's Jessica? Well, I didn't hear anything about Fancy or Noah, but I did hear something about Jessica. Simone was right. She's still at that damn spike. Uh, spike? Is this where we're going to live? For a while, yeah, until we find something better. Such a mess. What'd you expect? We just had a tsunami and an earthquake. Whole town is trashed. Yeah, but you said until we find something better, how can we have no money? <gasps> oh, we'll make money, sweetheart. Just as soon as you get back to work. Huh? Yeah, baby. You're gonna use what God gave you to make some serious coin. Talking here, I, I don't want to wake little Ethan up. Fine. Fine. Come on, sit down and uh, we'll discuss our arrangement. Uh, no. Teresa, what do you mean, no? <laughs> we have a deal. 
I help you get Jane and Ethan back, and uh, you become my very special friend. Please don't take him away from me. I can't lose another child. Sheridan, I'm sorry. I can't believe Alistair has refused to help you. Try to keep that little boy. He is awful. Honey, there's nothing that we can do about it right now. For, for just for right now, you need to let Mark go, okay? It's not human to make Sharon suffer in this way. There's nothing human about Alistair. Absolutely nothing. That man is pure evil. Please, don't take him away from me. What are you so mad about? I'm not mad. I'm just bored, okay? Bored? <laughs> Look, you weren't bored last night or, or even this morning. Come on, you were loving being with me. We were uh, talking and laughing and having a great time. Maybe you were having a good time. Look, so were you, all right? I thought something was starting to happen between us. Something between us? That's absurd. What, absurd? Come on, are you telling me you're not interested in me now? Not now, not ever, okay? I mean, why would I waste my time on a guy who can't even buy me a nice dinner? Fine. All right? But we still have to get through this together, all right? We have to stick it out and find a way to get along until we're rescued. I'm not staying with you, Noah. I'm getting out of these clothes, and then I'm getting out of here, right now. Fancy, look, where do you think you're gonna go? <sighs> so frustrating. Even if I knew where Jessica was, I can't even get close to her because of the restraining order. Imagine that. My own daughter has a restraining order against me. Sam, don't be hurt. It's like Simone said. Spike has Jessica brainwashed into thinking that he is the only person who cares about her. If I ever get my hands on him, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm gonna go find Whitney, right? I mean, did it even occur to you that maybe you should try to help my dad? Yeah, actually, it did. I wanna go find your sister. You wanna come with me, or you're just gonna stand here, act superior? I'm sorry. I, I can't do it, Spike. I can't sleep with strangers. I don't want to. Not even for me, Jess. I guess I don't even mean enough to you. No, I love you. And I know you love me, right? Oh, baby. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. I love you so much, I hate to ask you to do this, but we need money. Can you think of another way to get it? Well, where are you going to find the Johns after the earthquake and the tsunami? How do you leave that to me? There's always a market for someone hot and fresh like you, sweetie. I wish we didn't have to. Just the right thing for you. Take one of these, baby. Uh, it's help you real nice. Go ahead. What is it? Don't worry about it. It's just something to help you relax. Take it. Take it. Good girl. Good girl, sweetie. Hey, wait right here. I'm gonna go out and get your first customer of the day, okay, baby? Good girl.
question. Isn't there some way that you could just leave the child? You know, give Sharon a little time to figure out, you know, that the boy's mother wanted her to have him. I'm sorry, I feel bad, but I have my orders. But can't you see that the child wants to be with her? Aren't you supposed to act in the best interest of the child? I mean, really, the little boy just lost his mother. Hasn't he suffered enough? Please, you're not making this any easier. No. It's all right, sweetheart. I'm here. Please don't do that. Teresa, you better get used to me touching you. I'm going to become a very big part of your life from now on. How about taking the earthquake as a sign, huh? Somebody up there wanted to interrupt your little date with Alistair. Give up this crazy idea of allying yourself with him, will you? No. No, you're not going to be a big part of my life. I've changed my mind. The deal is off. doing the right thing the truth is always the best no no mom you don't understand i'm not telling fox the truth whitney you have to tell him you, you can't just keep lying sooner or later it's all going to come out and it's going to cause everyone so much pain who exactly are you to lecture me about lying when your lies are the reason that my life is completely torn apart whitney your mother's paid dearly for keeping a past a secret not as much as i have julian i am in love with my brother which I might have been able to avoid if I had known I had had a brother out there somewhere. Look, it's tragic, but you can't blame Eve. You know that my father manipulated the whole thing. He made us think that, that Chad died right after birth. Okay, look, whatever. I, I, I don't really even care. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I came here to tell you something. I came to tell you I've made a decision about my life, okay? I've decided to join a cloistered convent. And I'm leaving Harmony forever. Fancy, you can't go out there, all right? It's too dangerous. I'll be fine. Fancy, I'm serious, okay? The streets are still flooded. There's probably down power lines everywhere. You're just saying that to get me to stay here with you. Well, well, yes, you know, I want you to stay, all right? I want you to know that I was having a great time with you. Well, I'm not having a good time. All right. I get it, okay? Good. I have no desire to continue this conversation, so just leave me alone. You didn't hate me when I was saving you from drowning in that tsunami. And that wasn't the first time I saved your derriere, all right? You actually seem to like me. You're projecting because you have a crush on me. Now I'm leaving. OK, look, if you want to go so badly, fine. But at least let me help you. I don't need your help. Yes, you do, all right? Now follow me. I don't need I said just follow me, OK? is the best thing in your life, <laughs> then you're in worse shape than I realized. He puts you out on the street to sell yourself. You call that love? Jessica, he doesn't love you. He is using you. Spike loves controlling you, getting you hooked on drugs, using you for sex, using the money that you get from having sex with strangers. That is not love. That is sick. <sighs> They're right. It's time for me to go home. Where the hell do you think you're going? Uh, nowhere. I was just letting some air in. Are you... In just a moment, but first we want to update you on some breaking news. If you are heading out in northern Kentucky, 275 eastbound in Fort Wright, 
There is a one car accident and air care is being called in the eastbound lanes of 275. This is in between Turkey Foot and the Licking River in Fort Wright. Uh, the eastbound lanes will be shut down soon as air care is being brought in. They're going to land it there on the interstate. So the eastbound lanes of 275 will be shut down for some time. Certainly we will let you know. But again, a very bad accident at 275, eastbound 275 in Fort Wright. We will bring you any new information as it comes in. Remember this. If you lose me, you got nothing. Sweetie, I'm here. Sheridan, honey, listen. You, you have to let him go. But Ethan, he wants to stay with me. That agent has orders to take him, and she's got every legal right to do so. How do I know I'll ever see him again? All I can tell you is that I'll try to figure out a way to get you temporary custody. Do you think that's possible? I mean my father against me now I don't know I don't know but we all know Alistair's influence but I'll do everything I can to make sure that you get this little boy back I know this is painful but but for right now and only for right now you need to let him go because you don't want to do anything that could hurt your chances of getting custody in the future right okay. I want you to go with a nice lady okay don't worry. I'll come for you, I promise. I'll see you again very soon. It'll be all right, sweetie. I lost Marty. I, I can't lose Mark, too. You have to help me. I'm going to start doing some research right now on how you can get him back, okay? okay if there's a way you know that Ethan is going to find him. Oh, you can't be serious, Teresa. You were negging in our deal. I never should have made a deal with you in the first place. It was my mistake to let you think that I'd ever join forces with you. Well, you're the one that pursued me, and you're the one that's going to benefit most out of this whole arrangement. I know. I know. <laughs> so, but, but now you're telling me that you no longer want Jane back or Ethan back, the supposed man of your dreams. No, I do want them back. It was just the earthquake and the tsunami. They were signs. Signs? What kind of signs? It was fate's way of telling me that I was making a terrible mistake. You honestly believe that fate came along and hurt those people in a devastating earthquake and a crushing tsunami to warn you about me? <laughs> I thought I was the only one who was that self-centered. All I know is I can't make a deal with you. All I know is, if you don't make a deal with me, you're going to lose Jane and Ethan. Is that what you really want? You want to spend the rest of your life without your daughter and without Ethan, the man of your dreams? You are my passion all night. You're wrong, Alistair. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life without my daughter or Ethan. I'm going to get them both back without any help from you. And just how are you going to do that? I'm going to expose Gwen and Rebecca for what they did to me, what they did to Ethan. I know in my heart they were the ones who sent the information to the tabloid revealing Ethan's true return. Uh -huh. And you kept this information quiet until it was useful. Hmm? But I know Gwen and Rebecca were the ones who sent it. All I've got to do is prove it. And just how do you propose to do that? Find the evidence I need. Hmm. It's somewhere in the mansion. Ah, the mansion. My home. Is that the mansion you mean? Of course, Alistair. That is where Gwen and Rebecca live. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> that's a good plan. Although I think it's going to be a little difficult, especially if I make sure that you never set foot in my mansion ever. I think you're 
you're gonna get out of here, all right? Well, just stay out of my way and watch me. Whoa, hey, it, look, just, look, sit down until I tell you to move, all right? Look, sit down! You're not leaving without me, all right? It's just too dangerous. So get it out of your head. All right, now I'm gonna swim over there, get the pallet, and bring it back to the window. Now you stay put. Got it? I was wrong. I just hate to see them like this. No, Spike. Don't go. Okay, then you need to do this for me. No, for us. I will. I can do it. Just don't leave me. I'll be right outside, honey, okay? Hey, look. Take one of these. This will help. Gotta do it or what? Yeah, brother, we're all done talking. You kids have some fun, okay? <laughs> no kissing. Okay. All right. Where's the bed? There's no bed. I guess we're just gonna have to do it on the floor then. Come here, baby. No, stop it! I I can't do this. That's I cute. Don't... It's a good act. Oh, Spike, thank God! What the hell are you doing? I ain't even done yet. No, that's the thing, you are done. <laughs> Oh my God, Jessica, are you all right? Kay, Fox, what are you doing here? We're here to take you home. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Whoa. <gasps> nah, nobody's going no place. You're all gonna die. Whether you can't leave Harmony, honey, you can't leave your son. Mom, I have to leave. Chad will take care of Miles. Um, Chad knows now that Miles is his son. You told him? Oh, honey, I'm so glad. Well, he must have been in shock. Well, he was, but um, actually he was pretty happy about it. Yeah, the important thing is that he knows the truth. So now you just tell Fox the truth, then all the lies will be over, and, and Fox will be hurt. But it's so much easier to deal with the truth. Is it? It's easier to deal with the truth. <sighs> okay, well, I have some truth for you then. Um, the truth is that Chad and I made love again last night, knowing that we were half brother and sister. Mm. And you wanna know what? I liked it. And you're not trying to leave me, are you, baby? You said you loved me. You know, I love you. You don't love her. You're just using her. You're turning her into a whore. Shut your mouth, bitch. Come on, Jessica. 
us. Come on, let's go. Wait, wait, are you okay? We can't just leave him here. I can do anything I want, Teresa. I took Sheridan's baby away. What makes you think I won't hesitate to keep you away from Ethan and Jane? You're a bastard. Oh, yeah. You know, that's what I like about you. That's why I think we're gonna make a terrific team, because you have such spirit, such fire. We'll never be a team. Aren't you smarter than that? You go against me and you're gonna lose. I'll take that chance. Be smart. Come on, be smart. In order for you to get Ethan and Jane back, all you have to do is be my friend. I can't do that. Then you choose to be my enemy. Okay, if I talk to her for a second. Yeah. Jessica? Hey, um... It's okay if I say something now? Uh, look, he, he says he loves you, right? So how does he show you? He, he sells you to a guy like that? A bum like that? Right? Look at this place, come here. Take a minute and look around you. Look at this place. You know what? This is the best he can do for the woman that he supposedly loves? He can't help it. Because you and my daddy and my brothers all went after him. You destroyed his nightclubs. That's why we're so broke. You know, there's a lot of ways to make money, Jessica. You know that. He said if I loved him, I'd do it. Yeah? Well, if I loved a woman, I'd scrub toilets. I'd do whatever it took to make sure she was safe and happy. Are you safe and happy? He does love me. I know he does. Hey. Whatever that guy feels for you, it's not love. Look at me, Jessica. Your sister loves you. Your dad loves you. And they'd never expect you to do anything like this. Look around you. The only thing your dad and your sister want from you is to let them love you, let them take care of you. Then why can't I feel it, that they love me? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're angry that your mom left with David Hastings? You know, that hurt your dad a lot, hurt your sister a lot. Maybe that's why they didn't realize how hard you took it. What I'm saying is you cannot throw your life away to get back at your dad and your sister. Not when so many people care about you, Jessica. I mean, really, really care about you. You're a smart girl. Hey, look at me. You're a smart girl. And you gotta know, the way Spike's treating you, it's not right. But you've tried to leave him before, right? Yes. Yeah? Just... You, you need to make a choice right now, okay? Come home with us to a place where people love you and want to take care of you. Or you can stay here with Spike and be forced to sleep with these strange men. And then you could end up in jail or worse. Is that what you've always wanted? What do you want your life to be? Ethan is a wonderful lawyer. If anybody can get that little boy back for you to keep, that's Ethan. He can do it. I have faith in Ethan. But with Alistair working against me, I don't know if anyone can help me. Darling, try not to think about Alistair right now. You can help it. Alistair's evil. We know that. I guess our only consolation is knowing that he's going to get what's coming to him when he leaves this life. Hopefully soon. 
Oh, no. What? It's not good news. Ethan, what did you find? Am I going to be able to get Mark back? Are you sure you, uh, want to be my enemy, Teresa? No, Alistair, I don't want to be your enemy. I just want you to let me do what I have to do. If you were my friend, you wouldn't have to waste all this time rummaging through my mansion looking for this so-called evidence. No, no, I'm through with listening to your empty promises and your lies. I will never be your friend, ever. What's taking so long? I'm just trying to see if this is going to work. Would you mind keeping your pants on? What are you doing now? Trying not to die. What? I make the wrong move. That wire hits the water. I'm toast. Literally. Box K, where have you been? Daddy. Jessica. <laughs> Thank God you're home. Hey. Um, I, I wanted to talk to you because um I I I, I really I thought we were getting along just fine, you know. Everything's going great and then I um what happened? Nothing. Um, I was given some bad information, so I'm sorry that I snapped at you. Yeah? Yeah. Fox, I am so proud of you for bringing Jessica home. How did you do it? Um, I, Kate did it. It was no, okay. No, it was Fox. It was all you. How could you and Chad sleep together, knowing your brother and sister? How? Because we're in love, that's how. And I know that it's wrong. I know. I mean, you all told us not to live together because something like this would happen. And we didn't live together, and it happened anyway, so... <sighs> Baby. I'm so sorry, honey. You must be just devastated. No, no, actually, I'm just mad. You know, I'm mad that I have to give up my life because of what you two did. And now I have to join a convent because of it. I'm mad. No, you do not have to do that. Yes, Mother, I do. I have to go join a convent. And I'm never going to see either of you again. My darling. She doesn't mean that. Oh, yes, she does. Yes, she does. I've lost my little baby girl, Julia. I've lost my little girl. Ethan, what did you find out about Mark? Can I get him back? Sheridan, I'm sorry. It doesn't look very likely. Don't tell me there are relatives already trying to claim him. No, there are... Several married couples who have already applied to adopt him. No. No, that, that can't happen. I'll fight for him in court. Sheridan, listen. I'm sorry, but as a single woman, you're at a disadvantage. Unless a relative shows up to claim him, the court will most likely grant custody to a couple. And if that happens, you probably won't get to see him again. That's just... That's not right. That's not fair. I can't lose another baby. It's not fair. I agree. I know. It's not fair. It's not right. I'm... I, I wish I could give you better news. I'm sorry. I know. Thank you. You know, I, I just... 
I need to be alone right now. What did I say to her? Look, you just told her the truth. Let her go out there. She needs some time to herself, some time for this all to sink in. She said her heart broken again. Yeah, I know. I just, I just feel bad about it. Believe me, I do too. Honey, I am really just hoping and praying that we don't lose Jane. God help us if Alistair helps Teresa, because we're going to lose our baby. There's nothing more to talk about. Uh, now, that's a shame. What if I told you I could get you what you want today? Today? I'll get you, Jane, and Ethan back today. Come on, Noah, stop stalling and get me out of here. Fancy, shut up. I'm just trying to keep me here so you can get me drunk and try to take advantage of me. Oh, come on, don't be an idiot, all right? I can't hear you. I'm tired of waiting. I'm leaving. Fancy, no, no. Oh, my God. We go to trial, and I lose. What do you think I'm going to get? You could spend the rest of your life in jail. I'm going to get us out of the water, or we'll both be fried. It will ruin everything if people know that you're really Miles' father. What? He's rough, he's tough, he's rock and roll legend Tommy Lee, and Tuesday he's going to college. <laughs> Homework, sports, and making the band. Whoa. And did we mention it's co-ed? I'll be your tutor. You're my tutor. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Reality rocks when Tommy Lee goes to college Tuesday on NBC.